Well, there we are. There is the new G-Made Komodo 4x4 scale trail truck. I just did an overview of this on the channel and people have been asking me to do a running video of it. And the other thing people have been asking me to do is to put it beside my full scale truck so you can have a comparison of the two already. A lot of people say that my full scale truck doesn't look quite like an RC, but I don't know. You be the judge. Middle of October and it's just beautiful outside. A perfect day to do some scale trailing. Squeeze it in before those winter months hit me. Now I don't have a waterproof servo and I'll remedy that soon enough. But how could I not at least get the tires wet? <laughs> ah yes, suspension flex. A lot of people write to me or comment to me that a lot of my trucks are set up quite stiff in suspension and it doesn't seem to be that I like a lot of flex. Now I have different vehicles set up for different ways and I, I think that's the beauty of the radio control hobby is you can set up vehicles the way you believe fit your driving style. But it goes beyond that for me when I'm looking at suspension flex, okay? So yes, we can have vehicles that drop or droop their suspension immediately as you go over an obstacle. And that's awesome. You all, what, and what I'm referring to for those that are new to this is the actual flex of the shocks, right? Well, when it's too stiff, it can become a problem because you don't have any ability to maneuver the truck uh, with a, a nice suspension that'll ease you into a drop. But on the other hand, if you have a suspension that is too soft, what'll happen when you've got a hole or a divot under here, if you've got your axle just flexed down like that, you see what happens with the truck? It wants to flip it over. So. <laughs> And this is the ironic part about scaling. If you're wanting to do a scale vehicle acting like a real one, real vehicles don't usually have a six foot suspension drop. <laughs> Special ones do, but not usually a stock one. So you see how I have a slow flex on here? This is something that I enjoy and this is how I've learned how to drive. Other people are different, of course. Oh, that sun is ducking down for the day. That's too bad. But that's why I put in a light kit. <laughs> Sweet. I like headlights on RCs, especially when I'm out on the trail. It adds to that extra amount of realism. And with this Komodo coming with most of these scale accessories already included, this was an easy thing to put together, like the light kit and everything else. And it looks just so beastly. All right, let's get out of here. Up the hill. Time to do some trails. Woohoo! Sure, I can make some short work of these routes. Nice. When I'm out trailing or doing a film, I actually like to slow the vehicle down and really get a good look at it, seeing if I can make it look as, as realistic as full scale possible. Okay, so this giant tree root is going to help me show uh, what I'm talking about with suspension. So here we go. 
it looks like this vehicle doesn't have a lot of flex out of the box, but when you get it in a position for it to drop down and droop the front or the back, look at how much it's actually coming down. Oh, it's a little bit too far there. Holding the camera and controlling the truck. Excuses, excuses. Come on, get back up there. Thank you. Demonstration purposes here. Now, back up. Okay. So, let's get that suspension to drop down again. Really good example of how a vehicle can act and look like it's very stiff, but in the right circumstances, do exactly what you've set it up to do. So there we are. That's a nice shot. Hopefully I'm not gonna roll it, so I'm gonna steer into it. There we go, very nice. See, with a stiffer suspension, it also lets me control the roll. So you can see that now. If it would have drooped down too fast or that tire been too heavy, it certainly would have contributed to the truck flipping over. Now, all of this is just my opinion, of course. Everybody does it differently and everybody has different methods. Nice. So these are just things of advice or my experience. I'm sure each individual has their own, but try what you like, experiment, that's what it's for. Hobby is pretty vast and expansive. Let's get down to the creek there. So I've had lots of folks say and ask me over the years how I'm able to drive my vehicles in water if I say they're not waterproof. And the answer to that is I'm just very careful of the depth that I put it in. As long as I'm not covering an electronic area that's not been waterproofed, everything's okay. I keep it dry after I use it and I just uh, <laughs> make sure all the bearings are still packed with oil and well lubricated. Check it out, such a beast ride. That Savox servo doing a good job working those wheels. Hasn't been a problem at all. So as an example of taking my RCs into water when they're not waterproof, I try to keep it basically only up to the uh, middle of the differentials. That way everything stays safe and you know, if it goes a little bit too deep, I still have some leniency and leeway. Good looking rig. All right, let's see how the Komodo does on some rocks here. I'm just letting that suspension droop down. Nicely done. Next. Doing a bit of freewheeling just to see how it handles at a medium speed. Yeah, slowing her down, coming up to the bridge. Ooh, slippery stone. Let's try that again. Okay, right, we're gonna need more juice. See, as soon as you get that wet clay on any tires, it makes it more of a challenge. But, oh, oh, I was talking, I should have been driving. Gnarly, okay, I'm gonna have to come off of here and reset. I'm high centered. Wow, what a view and what a day for an RC adventure. There you go guys, it's your first look at my Komodo 4x4 out on the trail. It's a great rig, I've had a good time, all wheels are still spinning, I haven't had any issues yet. Uh, even went in a little bit of water there, kept it nice and low, but uh, didn't get any electronics wet. Come on, yeah. 
So if you've enjoyed the video, I hope I earned a like click or you're subscribed to our channel so you can go ahead and get all the new videos we do, quite a few per week. Uh, guys, thanks a lot for tuning in. If you are already subscribed, thanks a lot for the support and I will see you in the next episode of RC Adventures. Well, that's my own sound kit. <laughs>